Hello, we're back in New Solitude, and uh, I know it's been a while, the last week the uploads have been a little bit patchy, I just had a few uh, personal things going on in my life, but I'm back to educate some more testificates, or repopulating testificates as I should call this series. Um, my power plant, I was uh, working on that last time, the big uh, coal plant. What I was going to do is go into the nether and harvest a bunch of sulphur to stick in these chimneys, but... I've discovered something which uh, might be better. You see, I've already got a block in there. I'm actually going to have to get rid of that now. Um, excuse me a moment. Maybe I should have done this before I started recording, but oh well. No going back now. It's not like I can edit things or anything. Um, yeah, I've discovered a pretty cool little uh, machine you can build here. I think it's called a smoker. It's from Railcraft. And basically, it's like a big cauldron that just belches out smoke so it'll make the chimneys look like they're properly burning and it's pretty easy to build i just need um i suppose i need four cauldrons f one for each chimney i need some netherrack and some redstone and i've got plenty of netherrack plenty of redstone so i'm just going to um have to build the cauldrons then i hope i have some iron around here i think there's a like big massive pile of it in here but i'm not sure um, in the smelter maybe uh, no I don't think so I thought saw iron there I have six. Oh, I have seven on no that's aluminium ah curses okay so I have six iron in there which isn't enough I'm going to need what is it seven per cauldron four cauldrons seven fours twenty eight twenty eight iron so I guess it's down to the mine if I had more diamonds I could build myself a quarry that would kind of take a bit of the work out of all this digging I could just set it up and automatically excavate the area but um as you as you can see I'm dirt poor at the moment I don't even have any citizens here paying tax or anything so I don't know I'm funding this uh, settlement out of my own pocket like the ph philanthropist I am so I'm going to have to cut corners wherever possible. Um, and that involves going down and manually digging out some iron. Oh, what's a good level to dig iron at? Does anyone know? I know you're not going to respond right now because um, you're currently watching the video, which has already been fully recorded and uploaded to YouTube. Um, but if you are in possession of... Oh, oh my God, that was close. Okay, I'm not going this way. <laughs> If you are in possession of some sort of time portal or um, possibly a stargate that you can coordinate with uh, solar flares, then I'd very much appreciate your advice right now. No? Okay. Um, then I'll just have to do my best. Oh, I was digging out here. Yeah, let's just continue here. Is this my best digging instrument to use at the moment? A diamond pickaxe? It seems a bit of a waste. Because it's kind of made with all my diamonds, but I don't have another pickaxe with me, and I need to collect stuff if I want to build another pickaxe. I need more iron anyway. Oh, what was that? It's topaz. Interesting. Oh, crap. I got disorientated there. I thought I was digging forward still. I was digging down. Ah, uh, oh, it's more topaz. What the hell is topaz for? I mean, I don't remember really seeing it before, but... It seems to be as common as iron here, and it looks kind of similar, except with more of a cartoony outline. So, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, topaz uses... I can make topaz blocks or an ancient staff topper. But I need a nether cube for that. I don't know what a nether cube is. Okay, so I need a lot of uh, rare crap if I want to make use of topaz. Or maybe just a lot of topaz. I could make a building out of topaz blocks. Oh, or I could use them as windows. They look a little bit translucent or something, I think. So, um... Topaz windows? Maybe on my mansion. I have to build myself an administrator's mansion somewhere where I can uh, rule over my citizens and things. Coal. Coal's handy. I can't remember if I still need it for anything. I suppose I do for cooking food and things. 
you can never have too much coal, but you always think you can have too much coal because, you know, you kind of build up loads in your inventory and you start thinking, oh, God, just more coal. But um, you'll always find a use for it eventually. Um, still nothing. This has been a very disappointing expedition. Look, look at all this crap over here that I'm finding. None of it iron. I mean, that's very ironic, isn't it? That when I'm looking for iron, I can't find it. <laughs> that, even if it's not a, a true case of irony, I think it deserves honorary mention. Um, what is this? Tin? No, aluminium. I have lots of aluminium. And if I was looking for aluminium, there'd be none, of course. Maybe I'll find some surface iron, but... I need to make a new pickaxe now. And I think I'll have to start with a stone one again. Right back to the beginning. I hate how that happens. You kind of get forced to tech down like several levels when your tool breaks. I should have made one of those um, unbreakable Tinker's Construct ones. Would have been probably uh, much handier just to fix it up after it gets worn down and stuff. Um, here's my house I don't have a chest in my house actually I should put one in there because I oh have I been smelting iron here actually no no I haven't I need to cook these pork chops though to keep the food supply steady um, iron It would no if I had it it would be in here and it's not so I don't have it oh hang on a second, I've just re remembered. I did see some iron in there. I had something like six ingots in here, didn't I? Um, yeah, and... Do I have a pickaxe head thingy here? I could make myself a pickaxe head and just work from that. I don't. No uh, pickaxe heady template thingies. Uh, forget it, I'll just build a normal iron pickaxe. I could go through the whole template making process and everything. But, oh, it would take ages. I'm just being lazy. I'm really going to regret this decision in the long run, but I'm just going to make an iron pickaxe old school. Do some moderately fast digging. Um, where's my crafting table? Everything I built is so far apart. The, the layout here really annoys me. I need a more central hub to work from. And don't worry about the hospital. I haven't forgotten about that. I will get back to constructing the hospital. I guess I'm just uh, slightly distracted at the moment, um, finishing off the power plant, making it look like a proper big smoke-belching monstrosity. Because it's a little too clean now. It's coal power. We have to remind people of the environmental consequences. Um, let's see. So... Oh, I don't need to carry around a chisel template with me. What am I doing? That can go back in here. You useless thing. Be gone from my inventory. You are banished. Um, best place to mine iron, actually, might be near the surface. Because iron occurs, I think, at every level. And if I can find some surface iron, then I won't have to dig around in a hole at all. And it'll be more interesting. We'll get to explore the world a bit. You know, the final frontier. Um... find new planets and new civilizations and stuff. Well, not new planets, because um, we're not going into space. Find new biomes and new civilizations. And to be honest, I found Shelbyville. That's probably the worst I'm going to find. Everywhere else must be would have to be lovely by comparison. So my expectations are at exactly the right level now. Um, where would I find iron? Where's a new direction to go? I've kind of been everywhere. Oh, wait, look over here. I can see some minerals in the side of this cliff. Aha. Perhaps this is where I'll find what I'm after. Look at these pigs. Oh, my God. It's like the lost city of Pigtropolis over here. They just... They go on forever. There's more over there. This is crazy. It must be like mating season. The pigs are swimming upstream to mate like salmon. And um, 
Yeah, they finally reached here, their mating ground. Get back here, you. Or maybe it's a pig graveyard. They're like elephants and they wander back here to die. And, um, die they shall. They're all terminally ill, so I can do this guilt-free. Uh, yeah. Well, that's them taken care of. So, yeah, there's some copper there and some coal. I don't see any iron. Maybe if I... just Ah! Oh, no, I've got my shoes wet. They'll be squelching all day. Ah! What a pain. Anyway, I better circle around here and see if um, there's any iron on any of the other sides. None that I can see, though. I may actually have to dig in again. Um, oh, here's the desert. And a big hole. Oh, it's gone. Um, ooh, no, there's no iron here. I'm just going to have to go back, dig into that cliff face. Shouldn't take long. I'm, I'm sure I'll find loads in no time at all. Look, this sheep, is he dying in that quicksand? Or is it just slightly too shallow for him to uh, actually suffocate? But he just can't get out. He's trapped there forever. Should I save him? Should I put him out of his misery? Or should I observe him and see what happens? It's like one of those character building questions from uh, Morrowind. You know, the one where you see a creature in a snare. What do you do? I'm going to draw my dagger and mercifully end its life. There we go. I think that means I'd be some sort of fighter class or something. Oh, is this iron? This looks a bit like iron. And I have a shovel to dig it up. Uh, let me see. Tin. Crap. Then what's this? Uh, get out of here, tin. Don't need you. Iron. Okay. Iron gravel ore is the wrong... And tin gravel ore have, seem to have their colours reversed from the regular ore. I'm going to have to remember that. So, um, the grey gravel ore is iron, and the slightly... I don't know what you'd call that. A soft yellow? The soft yellow ones are, um, tin. Because this is a world of utter nonsense. Now... Where's that cliff face? Get back here. Um... Ah! Here it is. Yeah, I might as well just start digging in and see what happens. Um, make a little tunnel. I'm just hitting dirt. I'm going to have to start digging down, I think. This is good. I'll try to dig a staircase directly down. Because whenever you do that, you're guaranteed to like hit some mineral you want halfway down and completely mess up your staircase layout and have to patch it up with cobblestone and stuff. It's just the the laws of Minecraft. So, um, yeah, I'll just hope for the best. Oh, there's something. I think it's just tin, though. Tin again. Too much tin. It's like a Tintin comic or something. Um, ah, still no iron. Come on, how deep do I have to go? This world has such an iron deficiency, actually. It should be on supplements. I'm sure its vitamin count isn't that great either, actually. Just get it some um, hollow orange or something. Perk it right up. Ah! Just stone. Stone, stone, stone. Maybe I'll find a cave. That'd be good, or oh, 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 oh! Is that the soft yellow glow of iron? I see. Well, it's not glowing. Iron doesn't glow; it sparkles. Um, I'll get rid of these strings. I'm not sure what they're for, and I don't like them. They have a pixely texture, which annoys me, because the texture pack obviously doesn't have one for them. Ah, there's loads here. This is perfect. I'm in iron heaven at the moment. How much have I got? Six and two. That's eight. So that means I can get 16 ingots from that. And I needed 28. So no, I'm not done yet. The quest isn't over. But actually, if there's iron here, there's probably more on this level. So I'm going to keep digging this way and just see what I find. Hopefully this isn't the way back into town. And I'm just going to knock through into my own cave again. Wouldn't that be ironic? 
Um, again, no, probably not. Um, more tin. Out of my way. God. Well, this is the pure Minecraft experience you're getting anyway watching this. I mean, some people go off and have fun and build things and have adventures, but it's not called Buildcraft. It's called Minecraft. And what you're meant to do is you're meant to go underground into a little hole with a pickaxe and you're meant to dig in a straight line and break blocks. And that's what's fun about the game. So, um, yeah. This is the video for the purists out there. Oh, I have found a cave. A cave of wonders and iron. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's a lot of it as well. Five. Five iron, so that's another five. And what did I have before? Eight. Thirteen. Thirteen times two. Twenty-six. Ah! I need one more bit of iron. One more. Come on. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of everything. Oh, wait, no, I have iron already back home in the smelter because I only poured out three ingots and I had six so I have three left so I should have enough okay I'm going back back to town um yeah look at this mess it's weird how when you mine the cobblestone it takes up less room than it did when it was like in the wall when it's lying on the floor because technically if I'm leaving behind all the cobblestone that I'm digging up right where I'm standing. I shouldn't be digging anywhere. I shouldn't be freeing up any kind of space. There must be some kind of a, I don't know, space-time compression unit on this pickaxe or something. Or else this is just some magic, bullshitty land where the laws of physics are just a joke. That's not very nice, though. That, that would offend their sensibilities. You can't make fun of the laws of physics. They take themselves very seriously. Um, I think I just need to get over this hill and I'm home. Yeah, I can see it on the map. Just about there. I suppose I could walk around, but that's how little girls get to places. And I'm a manly man. Here we are. New solitude. Yeah. I need to build a city wall or something, or a gate, or some kind of grand entrance to announce what the city is called. Because... It's anyone's guess at the moment. It doesn't actually say it anywhere. To be honest, if I had something else come up and I had to go two weeks without recording, I'd probably come back and have forgotten what it's called, and I'd just have to give it a new name. Because I wouldn't rewatch the videos, of course. No, I'm too busy. Don't have time for that. Um, oh, no, I'm going to need lava here as well, am I? Ugh. Do I have a book? I do have a bucket. I'll just go get the lava now, anyway. I know I'm going to need it, so I might as well preemptively leave before um, the thing actually runs out. Oh, and it's getting dark as well. Maybe lava is a morning quest. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to get some sleep, and when morning comes, I'm going to go get my lava. It is night. Come on. Why are Minecraft characters so stubborn that they won't go to bed until the sun is down, regardless of the time of year? I mean, haven't they heard of setting the clocks back or anything? Daylight savings. And it could be bright when you're going to bed, conceivably, if you're being sensible. Some nights it's bright until after 10 o'clock. And, you know, if you've got work in the morning, then going to bed at 10 is probably a fair enough idea. I mean, I'd never take that advice myself, but I'm sure some people would. Right, anyway, down into the danger cave to get the lava, and um, then finally I may be able to get this power plant chimney thing looking really cool. Belching out pollution. I do find the weird sulfur cloud blocks very, very, very strange. I mean... It's just weird that you can actually mine into a cloud. It doesn't make sense to me, although it's weird you can punch down a tree. So, um, I'm overthinking it. Lava acquired. Returning to base. 
Harvester is under attack. Uh, where's the exit? There we go. Uh, 